everyone, and welcome to today's episode of M&A Empowerment. And today with us, we have Kristen Center. She is a senior counsel at Holland and Knight and is also a committee member of the ACG New York chapter of the Women of Leadership. Welcome, Kristen. If you'd like to take a second to introduce yourself. Yes, thank you. Appreciate um, you welcoming me on, Kelsey, um, and thank you for the warm introduction. My name is Kristen Center. Um, as Kelsey mentioned, I'm a senior counsel um, at Holland and Knight. Um, I'm based in the Stanford office, but also spend some of my time in the New York City office. I am in the M&A private equity group um, and spend a lot of my time um, doing buy and sell side work for private equity companies, family offices, independent sponsors, and other capital providers. And on the flip side of my practice, um, I work a lot with um, founder-owned businesses and startups and just do general corporate compliance and contract work for them. Um, and if they are scaling quickly and get more sophisticated and complicated, I'll sometimes get brought on to do VC work and and then eventually if they want to exit, um, I can put on my M&A hat and become deal attorney um, with institutional knowledge that I have and doing their contract work. It's, it's kind of helpful. Um, so help, have a healthy mix of buy and sell side work and general corporate work here um, at Holland tonight. Awesome. Perfect. And if you could take a second and describe your and your organization's role in supporting the M&A ecosystem overall. Yeah, sure. So outside of my day to day corporate work, um, I am involved in Holland and Knight's National Women's Initiative, um, which basically just puts on orchestrated events um, on a local level or a national level. And really, the events are designed to do a couple things. Number one, they're designed to just connect female attorneys with each other so they have the opportunity just to do internal networking, um, which is so important, particularly from an MA. For, for an M&A attorney like myself, because we rely on specialists and other and, and attorneys outside of our corporate practice to help us with our diligence work and you know to, to help flush out some tricky issues that pop up during the deal phase. Um, another part of our focus is just to really help women with their business effort, their business um, development efforts from an external standpoint. So connecting them with clients, potential clients, and you know advisors that could be potentially become referral partners for us. So it's a great way to help women, you know, develop their own personal brands, both internally and externally, and help them build their own their own book of business if that's something that interests them from a career. Um, so another another way we help women um, in the M&A ecosystem from from an, a direct perspective, I should say, is we we sponsor um, and and host events with partnership organizations that are in the deal-making community, ACG being a perfect example, Opus Connect being another example. Um, so we not only support them by financially contributing to the event, um, but also, you know, volunteering to to speak on panels um, and 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 to do fireside chats, for example. Awesome. Yeah, the the exposure is always helpful to be able to speak at those events and kind of just, you know, get your your face and your name out there just to be able to connect with other women. Um, how about uh, from the ACG New York Women of Leadership perspective, if you could tell us a little bit about your involvement in that? Yeah, sure. Happy to. So I'm on um, I'm on the committee of the ACG New York Women of Leader Leadership Organization, um, and our real main goal is just to plan events um, that are that are geared towards women in the deal making community. Um, and I found I found this to be so important, and I learned to appreciate this group so much um, because the deal making community, as you know, I'm sure Kelsey, it, it's it's very male dominated. Um, it can be difficult for women to kind of navigate, um, you know, certain events, um, particularly when the events are just comprised of, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings and free-for-all networking sessions. Um, sometimes women can can get lost in the mix um, of all the watch showing and the flashy talks of sports and just feel uncomfortable. So we try to plan events that are more intimate, um, more of a casual setting, 
so that women can just network with each other. Um, I, I think it's it's helpful because women, I think, tend to network a little differently than men. Um, you know, they we have this unique ability to talk shop and business, but also talk babies at the same time in the same breath. <laughs> so, so it's it's really lovely to see um, you know the enthusiasm and and the vibrancy of the conversations um, and these events that we plan. Um, I think women walk away um, feeling motivated inspired but also walk away with stacks of business cars which is you know which is the, which is the main goal of going to these these business development events yeah absolutely I know that at least from the events that I've attended and I've done a couple of different women of leadership in different cities and whatnot and it just always it's a different feel it's like you said it's um it's easier sometimes to just talk with a group of women especially in a more intimate setting than it necessarily is to just kind of speed network your way across different tables, you know, at these larger events. So um, completely get that. <laughs> um, and then lastly, I guess, what would you say to other women who are currently in the field or are looking to get into our field? You know, what advice could you, would you give to them? Yeah, I think that's a really good question and a very important question that, you know, we should all ask ourselves no matter what what career we're we're in, no matter what industry we're in, um, and having been in in the M and A and deal making community and in the industry for you know fifteen plus years, I would say my most important piece of advice is to really find a find a firm, find a company where the culture is a good fit, um, and take your time finding that you know place. Um, you know, even if you have to pivot a couple times and take risks in your career, um, because I, I know, and based on my experience, I've been at smaller firm settings where, you know, the culture was not a career fit. Women were not particularly valued, um, and 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 given the resources and the support systems that they needed to succeed and thrive. Um, and so, I think you know, if diversity is important to you, if if women empowerment is important to you as it is to me, um, you know, really finding um, the place where your cultures are in line with the, you know, with the, with the values are in line with the values of your colleagues, both the people below you and above you. Um, because really, all in all, being in a healthy workplace, um, it, where you know you feel seen, the culture is a right fit, and where you're motivated, is is just as valuable as any kind of dollar amount on a paycheck. Certainly, um, you know I'm a, I'm a mom of two, and I think you know a lot of people say um, to me, you know the years the years are long or the years are short, but the days are long. <laughs> I kind of use the this I use the same saying in, in my career. You know, don't waste your time sitting at a desk where you you know you hate being where you are. Um, you know, take your time to find a place that's a right fit for you. That's great advice. Yeah, I completely agree. I've kind of done the same kind of shuffle, you know, smaller firm, larger firm mentalities. And, you know, with 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 them, as you can see, you know, with this podcast or this video series that they definitely support the idea of women in M&A and women empowerment. And we have a couple of diversity initiatives, um, both from a female perspective and then other, you know, diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives, too. So I completely agree with you. I think it's so important to find that right fit that, you know, in a company that allows you to be passionate about the things that you truly care about. So um, that's that's great advice. And thank Thank you again, Kristen, for joining us today. Again, this is Kristen Center. She's a senior counsel at Holland and Knight and a committee member of the ACG New York Women of Leadership chapter. Thank you so much, Kristen. It's been great having you. Thanks, Kelsey. Thanks for having me.